great bell of the parish church rings out through the streets of Kaiser, a village in the Umbrian Hills north of Rome. The church is just one of 30,000 throughout Italy whose buildings are often architectural wonders and whose contents account for so many of Europe's art treasures. Most Italian churches are open to the public for many hours a day. Doors are unlocked, windows unbarred, and most importantly, the treasures themselves are largely unguarded. In recent years, thousands of works of art have been stolen by thieves who've literally walked in and helped themselves. This postcard is a reproduction of the most valuable painting ever stolen in Italy, Giorgione's Madonna Enthroned. The painting disappeared two weeks before Christmas from the unprotected cathedral at Castelfranco Veneto, Giorgione's 15th century birthplace 28 miles from Venice. It had only one locked door, and the thieves soon dealt with that. This part of Italy is particularly rich in church paintings, and previous thefts have included works by Titian and Tintoretto. A 5,000 pound reward was offered for information on the Giorgione and 10 days after the painting was stolen, the art squad of the Italian police recovered the masterpiece undamaged from a house near Padua. But the message for Italy's churches seems to be that only those works which are actually part of the building are really safe now. The Giorgione Madonna is now back in its place at Castelfranco. It's been likened in importance to the Mona Lisa, Certainly, it's regarded by many experts as one of the world's most beautiful and important paintings. If the Madonna came up for auction in the present state of the art market, there's no telling what it would fetch, probably several million pounds, but a work like this is almost beyond valuation. Even now, the painting is not that well protected, though the original lock has been reinforced with padlock and chain. Even in the greatest treasure house in Italy, the Vatican, security still leaves much to be desired. There have been no sensational thefts yet, but last May, Michelangelo's Pieta in St. Peter's Basilica, one of the most expressive sculptures in the world, was attacked by a man with a hammer the face was damaged and an arm smashed off. The sculpture was completely unprotected from the thousands of visitors who file past it every year. Luckily, the damage won't be permanent. Expert restoration work will make the repaired statue indistinguishable from the original. But the incident has taught a lesson that's now being applied to other precious works of art. The Pieta will remain in St. Peter's, but behind a protective screen of unbreakable glass. The man with the unenviable task of trying to protect Italy's treasures from the art thieves is fine arts chief Rudolfo Seviero. With the vast number of works whose value has become so inflated in recent years and the absence of government money to protect them, Signor Seviero frankly admits his task is impossible. The walls of his office are hung with paintings he's personally recovered from thieves, but there are thousands more still missing, and there's little chance they'll ever be found. Priceless stolen paintings can't be sold, but they're easy to ransom. And for less important works, there's a ready market in America. Italy's artistic heritage is scattered throughout the country, not only in the 30,000 churches, but in 20,000 castles and 600 museums. Many of the most precious works are in relatively obscure locations, such as the village of Casey. In this Umbrian village is a modest-looking church, not especially noteworthy for its architecture. 
but it contains works of art worth several million pounds. There are no guards here. The only custodian is the village priest who couldn't cope with determined thieves. Yet this early 14th century painting, attributed to Cavallini, is one of the most important in Italy and alone is worth a million pounds. It was stolen in 1964, and since it was recovered, it's been kept in a special room behind locked steel doors. So has this 5th century carved Madonna, also worth a fortune. But the doors will be opened by the priest to anyone who wants to see these pieces. Other works in the church date from the 16th and 17th centuries and are far less valuable, but they are also completely unprotected. For all the 50,000 places where works of art are kept in Italy, there are only 3,000 official custodians, and the state employs just 300 art experts. But a start has been made in photographing all important works, so that if they do get stolen, the police will know what they're looking for. But the main problem is that Italy is so rich in artworks there are just not enough secure places to keep them in. This cellar has priceless frescoes on the walls, though the cellar itself is full of junk. For hundreds of years, the value of Italy's works of art rested in their religious significance for the people who worshipped in the churches where they were kept. But today's inflationary economics have transformed them into huge potential investments. The Italian government has been recommended to spend five times its present budget on art security, but at present it shows no signs of doing so.